Hi guys, this is my DIY video on how I made a smoke filter in response to heavy smoke passing through Canberra from the New South Wales bushfires and the surrounding region. The smoke was 20 times higher than the hazard level and it made its way indoors. Uh, the standard air purifier that we had did little to reduce the effects of smoke. Uh, so I built a custom carbon filter using a Caterpillar high velocity drum air circulator. Um, and it's a dual layer filter with the outer layer clearing larger particles using a standard air duct filter and the inner layer is the activated carbon filter. I had a spare 40 centimeter fan that I salvaged to provide the enclosure for the filter. Down to size. So I'm just going to make sure that Science. So the power cord is going to go through here. So I don't want the charcoal. I just kind of want the charcoal to go around in a donut shaped. Um, so I can come all the way around. So I'm just going to draw a bit of a circle here that will indicate the area that I'm going to need to stitch in the sewing machine that will allow me to puncture a hole through here. Ah, oh, there, the light's on now. Okay, and if I push on the pedal, oh my god! Super fast. I'm just gonna go around. So next we're, allow, uh, we're ready to fill up our bag with uh, activated charcoal. So that's it. So we've got our mesh bag in place. Now you just wanna distribute distribute the charcoal as much as possible around the vent. Anyways, so that's, that's it there. And there should be a hole here that we need to cut. So I think we can just stab it right through. I mean, and the plan is to use cable ties to then fix these two grills together. Before we do that, we need to check to make sure that <coughs> these clips are big enough to fit on the fan. So we're gonna need to expand this out a bit more using some ply. Now we're looking at the back of the fan and we wanna get these clips to kinda sit nicely and snug with the frame of the fan. I'm just going to Pull that back and just, you know, just tweak it a bit. <coughs> so we'll try with this one. Do this one next, that goes good. That's perfect, that went well. That is not, that's okay. You can see, you can see it's not falling off. It's nice. It's a nice little enclosure. It goes on just perfectly. So I'm just getting some cable ties that I already have available here. This time we're gonna go here on the inside. And it's just enough, just enough, but we won't tighten it, just we'll set it in place, okay? And same thing on this side over here.
So let's tighten this up now. So you've got them all on the four corners here. And just let's try this. So we've got a couple holes here that we can use. Little one. And we'll just press down as hard as we can. There we go. So that's not going to move. It seems to be pretty stable. That's good. So we're just going to cut these things off now. Now we're ready to fit this onto the back of holes. Um, as we push it through. Okay, so that's that went through quite nicely. Looking good. So we've got the fan. So now we can put some duct taping all the way around here. Seal that off a bit more. Electrical tape. Here, I'm just going to tape it all the way around. Okay, so there are a couple of problems with this approach. And the main one, the biggest one, is that you can't get easy access to the switch, which is right here. So by default, I've already enabled uh, the fan on number four, which is the highest setting. Um, and so I can control the fan at the switch once it's been plugged in. The second problem is that adding over 1.2 kilograms of charcoal in the grill kind of just makes the fan want to flip backwards and almost all the way vertically up. Um, so some of the, one of the ways to circumvent that is to put a little bit of a support there just to keep it in place. So you can feel the, the air just sucking through, especially in these parts here. The air just really pulling through here. So, you, so it is going through. Because of this little um, gap here, uh, you do feel a bit of air being pulled in through here, which is not going to be filtered very well. But we could duct tape that to really seal it up a bit more if we want it to make it more effective um, so anyway so that's it that's uh, that's my carbon filter